Huskies in blue, Trojans and Cardinal in gold as the number one seed. And that final ticket to the final four about to be punched. 40 minutes of discipline and execution, and you have to match that for 40 minutes. The step through to the left side by Davis, and it's stripped by Nika Mule. There's your starting five for SC. They are a little deeper. They are a little bigger against essentially a four-guard lineup for UConn. Right, and UConn, because they primarily play five, it's going to be really important for USC to establish the baseline, points in the paint, get their post play going on the inside and challenge Aliyah Edwards. Watkins, mid-range pull-up off the mark. Another offensive rebound and a second chance here for Southern Cal. Debbie, very similar to our first game. Both these teams are at their best playing a fast tempo. Yeah, and, and it's not just this vertical speed. It's the quarter court speed, just like that. Five lifted above the free throw line, wide open lane, and UConn is an elite level cutting team. Beckers with the assist from Edwards. Aaliyah, the Canadian Olympian, trying to invert Juju Watkins to the block. And the more shots they can hit, Mule, the all-time assist leader at UConn. That's saying something with all their great point guards. Edwards strong to the rim. They get you playing side to side, accelerate through, make you jump to the ball, and then they get it inside to Leah Edwards, and she can finish on the inside in a one-on-one. -on -one. Look how wide open the paint is. Forbes calls for the screen, gets it, stops on a dime. And Edwards with the defensive rebound. Arnold, there's that burst. They're going to attack Padilla as much as they can tonight. Baylor used that to some success in their Sweet 16 matchup. Now, UConn's not a heavy ball screen offense. It's more a pass and cut. I'd say it's like 80% pass and cut versus a, uh, versus a ball screen offense. Let them advance. This is the foot speed of K.K. Arnold right here. Crosses up Padilla in transition, does a great attacking the rim. And then Juju Watkins coming off that screen, gets to the elbow and... She's got her own Twitter handle, the Tarasi bun. Maybe Juju's got one cooking on social media. See, here's a clear out right here. Juju going right. Look at that body control. Count it, and one. It's a clear out. Four players on the weak side. One on one with Mule. Bucket and... Page got the last possession. They're going to isolate her on the elbow here. They go to double that elbow entry. Back to Beckers looking for three. Off the mark. Mule swooping and missed the gimme. Juju Watkins was guarding Paige Beckers in that matchup. Got some help from Padilla. Forbes counted off the window of USC. Right here, nice crossover. You got a smaller defender on you. It's a nice use of the window to knock it in and handle the contact. Forbes calls for it. She's really developed into their leader. Playing with a lot of confidence and poise. Paige Beckers will counter and she will go right at Padilla and draw the foul. Hesitation. A little bump and Paige has Juju. Errant on the pass. I mean, Juju doesn't need much space to go where she needs to go. She can make a play in a tight space. Beckers off the cross and the dish as she drops it off for Edwards. It's a really well done play by Paige Beckers. Edwards gets underneath. Spins back to the other side and scores. So now UConn comes with a ball screen on the naked side and they X out on the backside, which means they switch on the backside on that screen. It's a good job by UConn to execute. And then Aliyah Edwards right here uses her footwork underneath the basket to Sporbs coming down and puts on the brakes. It's a beautiful pull. Instead, it's going to be Forbes calling for the screen up top. Gets the switch, the drive, the block for Beckers. All made it to the Sweet 16. All very athletic teams. Yeah. NC State. South, South Carolina. Carolina. USC will keep it here. There you see they have more players in street clothes than they do in uniforms who can come into the game. It's been a crazy season at UConn. 
What you want to do is try to run some stuff where you get Samuel switching on to Juju Watkins, just like that right there. Padilla. But then you got to recognize it and, and get her the basketball. Nika Mule running with Arnold, the pull up, and Nika Mule's got it. Nika Mule doesn't look to score very often. She's certainly capable, but especially in transition, she has to be a threat. Let's see if they look to get Juju a touch. It's about seven minutes since her last shot attempt. Marshall the turn. I think it was a pass. I think it was, was a pass. Assist to Caitlin Davis. <laughs> a lot of contact on that shot attempt. Here's Beckers stepping outside the line. Whoa, whoa. Man, they call is... it a two, but they will review it at the that... next stoppage. Edwards able to tip it to Beckers. Arnold, nice change of direction, floats it up and in. Just 29% shooting and only one of six this quarter. Good help by Padilla on that drive. Samuels wide open, look, got it. Mule passes up the triple to a wide open Samuels, the six foot freshman. Hadn't played in the last couple of games and sticks a triple. At this end of the floor, it's been eight minutes since Juju last took a shot. During that stretch, a 19 to five UConn run, which she ends. More than any of their legends, handful of whom are in the Hall of Fame. And Forbes got a piece of that. On the switch, she draws Watkins. KK Arnold is out of the game with three fouls. They're down a starter. Watkins stays outside the line and, and hits it on and, Beckers. And this is what we came here to see. Exactly that. We want to see that one-on-one -on -one matchup once in a while. Two leading scorers are showing it. Both averaging over 27 points yes. per game in the postseason, and Beckers with a dozen. Look at this little back and forth, little rope-a-dope action, and then the stick from the top of the... And then on the other side, Paige Becker's a little bump to create some separation. Both so highly skilled. Here's Ice Brady now making an appearance in the game for Connecticut. Becker's deep three hits it. <laughs> okay. Well, there's been so much attention elsewhere in the women's game, and deservedly so, but... Beckers is a three-time All-American, has taken the Huskies to the Final Four a couple of times already in her career, and trying to make a splash here late in the season. And with this big lineup, Coach Oriema likes the Horn Series. Brady's trying to find her way. Edwards, good help defense, and the block for Marshall. Heavy favorites to win a third national championship. Don't count out the Wolfpack. They have made an incredible run to get here, and the lefty Ice Brady knocks down a shot at the nail. Boy, any bench scoring for Connecticut is house money. Marshall, nice find by Forbes off the bounce. Also noteworthy here, Debbie, for Aaliyah Edwards, she is playing without her mask for the first time since breaking her nose in the Big East tournament. They run that double again at her. See, Aaliyah Edwards cannot be aggressive in that, though. And Padilla is one of their better three-point shooters. When the ball skips over the top to the weak side, you got to be ready to catch and shoot. She's over tonight. Mule at the other end is not. Should be SC ball here. Watch Mule get organized. It's a good push. They do not get together to change the call, so it stays with UConn. Edwards, aggressive to the rim. Rhea Marshall doesn't have any fouls. She has to be more aggressive in that play right there and not let Aaliyah Edwards bully her off the line, off the block. Forbes able to knock down the three. Just 29% shooting tonight for Southern Cal. Beckers! 17 for Page. See, this one's going up, Beth. Juju Watkins is kind of like, why, why am I not getting some touches right here? Forbes she unselfishly open passes. Open for three. It was 50% from three going into the tournament. Beckers with a drive. Turn. 
We're under five minutes to go here in this third quarter. Winner to face Iowa at the final four. Shade able to knock it down and gets inside and then Shade with a triple. Her first points. Oh, she's going to get the ball. 2003. She's going to get the ball right here. Got to out of the timeout. Oh, oh nice Beckers steal. Jumps the passing lane. Paige Beckers scoops it up and in. UConn by a dozen. That's a scouting report defensive steal right there. What a great job to jump that pass. 7-0 run. Let me say this about Cheryl Miller. She scored over 3,000 points, no three-point line. And she was my all-time, what I call, best. Juju. And we've had a few new ones come along here lately. <laughs> With a nice steal. Count it. Cheryl Miller both have that glide ability. There's a steal right here by Juju. She crosses over and handles the contact. Look, she's, she's pushing her into the screen. Yep. Behind the back and blocked out of bounds by Brady. Edwards backing in Watkins. Contact, but no whistle. On the run. The three in transition is good from Bigby. A much better choice tonight by Bigby. Held by 12. I mean, look at the trust factor right here by Juju Watkins. Bigby in transition. Gets organized. Beckers comes to get it. Big B honor. Mule playing with those four fouls. Finds Brady in the corner for three. Ice Brady for a three. She's a 23% three-point shooter. Her sixth of the season. Padilla finds the handle and hits it to beat the buzzer. Nothing better than a buzzer beater to kick us into the fourth quarter. Her first basket of the night drills it. Edwards gets to the baseline, lay it in and one. She gets by Davis. Fatigue and to protect from foul trouble. The lob to Watkins, gets behind the zone, count it! Parade of free throws for her. This is just a nice set play. Good screening on the back of the zone right there. USC looked like... Shade off the ball fake. Juju, gonna take it herself, gets to the left side to lay it in. I mean, it, it is a glide. An eight. One run by Southern Cal. Juju to the rim. Watkins off the cross. Forbes to tie it up. And Forbes with a spot up. We're all tied up at 59. Coach Oriema has managed foul trouble so well in this game. Now they're going back to their man to man. And that's a block on Juju. Seven for 18 tonight from the floor. Beckers, look at Gino, he's gonna shorten up the game here. This is where he orchestrates who he wants, where he wants with his offense in front. This is really gonna be something to watch. We asked him about it yesterday. How much film do you want to get your players in the right spot? He said a lot. Winner gets Iowa at the final four. Nice fake, Edwards, window. Everything we have to play another day. Becker's on the inbound. I, I can't tell you the number of times Lindsey Gottlieb went over that very set. Both Arnold and Mule, number two and number 10 in blue, are playing with four fouls. Off the turnover, Watkins steps through, up and in. So good with her body control. Four fouls on. Beckers collects, spins baseline, tough shot, gets it to go. Now I thought that was a foul. She was up under her. Watkins for three, in and out. Under four, here in the fourth. 
Remember the other thing that Coach Oriana said, we cannot play from behind because of our depth. We don't have the ability to extend our D. But they can shorten the game here by running clock. Beckers for three. Got it! Page with contact. That's a bucket big one right there, and then back to back. Contested triple from the top of the floor. She and Newell and Edwards have played every single second tonight. Count it! And Mule finds Edwards on the backside. Davis late. Edwards with a bucket. Final two minutes. Now you don't want to foul now. You want to stay solid in your D. Becker's off the bounce. Pulls up in the lane for two. A great job of anticipating. Here's Becker's in a late clock through the contact. Just too talented. What you do, you got to stay aggressive here. You got one to give. Becker's drives inside, blocked by Watkins. Juju with the swat. There's a block from behind by Juju Watkins. And you see she steps out of her shoe. On a miss here. Forbes will look for three. And hit it! This is a nice job by Forbes to relocate. And to use the bounce to separate from Paige Beckers. Mackenzie Forbes. There's a switch. Watkins drops it off for Marshall. Missed the layup. Second chance, up and in. There's the three for Watkins. They run her off the line. She'll take the two. They're proving that it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And UConn knocks out a number one seed to head back.